Pleasure. Yeah. This is indeed an honor to yeah. have a chance to come over and be with you this morning. Yeah. Hey, Dave. How are you, George? Nice to see you. Oh, Don. Six of the Constitution of the Philippines saying that uh, democracy would work in that situation and might give us a rescue in terms of the transition of authority. Um, the net effects of the first day were, were ones in which we saw in Manila, and that was significant because that was observable by us and by the international press and what have you. A registration situation in which uh, it was obvious that people had been assigned polls in which they had no idea where they were going to vote. In short, the list could have been put out and should have been 15 days before by their laws. Namfrel, the citizen watchdog, suggested five days at least. They were not delivered until in some cases the voting had commenced. And this resulted, in my political judgment, in at least uh, 10 or 20 percent of the people of Manila not being able to vote. It occurred in other places. And we began to notice it, but Manila was uh, the place where the, the count was to come in quickly. And in 84, they did go for the opposition, and they reported it through the quick count, so it was apparent that they had a lead. Uh, it was apparent on, on Friday night, first of all, that relatively few people had voted in Manila, and secondly, that there was not going to be a quick count. The, the government refused to sign the forms, so that the votes didn't get in to either Nomfrel or their, the Comelec, the official account. We were blandly told that there would not be telecommunication to the problem. Mr. President, Donna Ashlock. Thank you. 
Yeah. 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 Ye